Hi, I'm Kim Borcharding, realtor here in Oregon, and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things real estate related. So today we're going to talk about the best family neighborhoods in Portland. So we're talking about the city proper. Now, I'm gonna give you my ten, two cents. I always tell people, you pull 10 people, you'll get 10 different neighborhoods. And today we're gonna be focused, we're gonna simply focus on the east side. And what I've learned from helping many families relocate here to Oregon. So on the east side, we have a few coveted family neighborhoods. So first I'm going to start in Southeast Portland. So number one, East Moreland. So East Moreland is on the Southern tip of Portland on the east side. And it is just past the East Moreland Golf, Golf Course, south of Bybee and north of Crystal Springs. Now it's a quiet little pocket in Southeast Portland. And what it's really known for is having these beautiful tree-lined streets, old growth trees, and a lot of stunning homes. So most of East Moreland was built in 1920s, 30s, and 40s. So if you're attracted to English and Tudor style homes, there's lots of those in that neighborhood. But they also have larger lots, and it's kind of a sleepy, quiet neighborhood, but lots of different kinds of people that live in the community that make it feel like a tight knit community. So we're talking about people who've lived there for 50 years. We have people with young children and families and then everything in between. Um, there is also a elementary school in the middle of that neighborhood. So that's called Dunaway and where many kids either go to Dunaway or a little Catholic school in the neighborhood as well. And so it's a walkable neighborhood from a school commute perspective. So people really love East Moreland and the architecture of the home, but mostly the community that you find within East Moreland. So from East Moreland, there are two neighborhood business districts you can walk to from East Moreland. So you can go to the east to Woodstock, which is only about a mile, a mile and a half. And there you have the grocery store, you know, shops, restaurants, or you can walk west to the Selwood Moreland neighborhood where you have movie theater, shops, restaurants, all that. So East Moreland itself, it's walkable within the neighborhood, but there's no businesses within East Moreland and, but you are sandwiched between two business districts if you live in East Moreland. So the second coveted family neighborhood is Selwood Moreland. So that's Selwood and West Moreland. That's also clumped together as Selwood Moreland. So we're gonna call it Selwood Moreland. So that is the southernmost tip of the east side of Portland. It's just right before you hit Milwaukee. And what people really love about Selwood is that it just feels like a little small town. So there's um, a few little business pockets within Selwood Moreland. So one being on Southeast 13th, one on Southeast Milwaukee. And on those business districts, you have the bank, the bakery, the post office, the wine shop, um, cool bars, cool restaurants, um, you know, the barber shop, the, the, the pet food store. Really, you can do any errand on foot in Selwood Moreland that you need to. So you really don't even have to leave the neighborhood. And that is a tremendous benefit if you want a walkable neighborhood in Portland. Also, the other thing that people really love about Selwood Moreland is that it's sandwiched between two amazing parks. So you have Westmoreland Park on the east side of the neighborhood, which has um, some ball fields, um, it has a little stream that goes through it, and also has a really cool kind of natural playground for children. It's also the sunnier park. So if you, it's a sunny day and you wanna be in the sunshine, Westmoreland Park is where you go. Now the other park on the other side of the neighborhood, it's called Selwood Park and that park is a magnificent. You have these old growth dug fir trees, you have a playground, you have ball fields, you have just a big field that overlooks Oaks Bottom. It's the shadier park, so if you like the shade or it's raining, that's the park to go to. But it also has the coveted Selwood Pool. So in Portland, we have a handful of pools within the city and the Selwood Pool is one of the oldest one and is a tremendous resource for the neighborhood. So they have open swim and swim lessons and aqua aerobics class for, for people. So that pool is typically open June through Labor Day. And again, it's a coveted asset within the Selwood neighborhood. 
So the other thing people love about the Selwood Moreland are the schools within the neighborhood. So you have the public school, which is Lou Ellen, or a few different um, Catholic or private options. So from a Montessori or St. Agatha Catholic School. So you have a few different school options, but they are all are walkable within the neighborhood. Like East Moreland, it is also a very tight-knit community. So you have a range of people who live there from older people who live there for 50 years to young families to, you know, young couples in their 30s. So you have a lot of mixed people and that really makes it feel like a really tight community within Selwood Moreland. The other great thing about Selwood Moreland, it has easy access to the Selwood Bridge if you want to get over to the west side as well. So let's talk about the houses in Selwood Moreland. So the houses range quite a bit from those in East Moreland. East Moreland has much bigger houses. So Selwood Moreland has more smaller options. And also it was built a little bit earlier. So the house is early 19, 1900s, 1910, 2030s. Also, we have a lot of um, four square craftsmen, some English, but typically the Portland Foursquare, which is a coveted house style in Portland. You can find a lot of those in Selwood. Now, the other thing about Selwood to know is that that was like the working man's neighborhood. Um, and so some of those houses from a construction perspective have not been built as well. So that's something to be mindful of. Um, if you're thinking about buying an older house in Selwood, it's really important to get a really good inspection because you'll find some you know, issues that might come up, again, simply from the age of the house and the construction. So something mindful, those houses are really old and some of them were not as built as well as other neighborhoods, for example, like East Moreland. So it's really important to get a great home inspection if you're buying a house in Selwood because some of the houses don't inspect as well as some of the other neighborhoods. But people love living in Selwood. I find that once you move to Selwood Moreland, you, you kind of don't want to leave because you're ingrained in the community. You get accustomed to the walkability and you can find yourself aging into the neighborhood from, again, young couples to seniors. So the next two east side neighborhoods I want to talk about living in Portland are northeast neighborhoods. We're gonna talk about Alameda and Grand Park. So first let's start with Grand Park. So again, both these are both in northeast Portland. So Grand Park is just north of Highway 84 that hugs 33, northeast 33rd and you have Grant Park, so actually it's a park that's again a coveted park that is in the center of this community. And people love this park. There's ball fields, there's playgrounds, there's big open fields. So this is a tremendous asset to the community. And then it's also a simply a tight knit community. That's what people love. When I find that also once you get to Grand Park, you don't want to leave. So you have again, older people, a lot of young families um, who stay in that area for a long time. There's also, um, it feeds to Grant High School. That high school is amazing and people love the high school. And um, the community tends to really rally around the high school in the park in that community. Now, so the houses you find in Grand Park, many of them are built in 1920s and 30s. So a lot, you'll find a lot of craftsmen, some English, a lot of big front porches, um, and also some mature trees. And you can walk within the neighborhood but there are a few business districts that you can walk to from Grant Park. So we're talking about um, down on Broadway um, or up on Fremont. So you have a few different business districts where you have shopping and restaurants and the grocery store. So it's kind of a little quiet pocket, but it's also surrounded by a few different business districts. The other big thing about Grant Park is that highway access. So you can jump on Highway 84, which is a big highway to commute a lot of different directions very easily from Grant Park. And that's another asset to living within that neighborhood. So the final neighborhood that families really love in Portland is Alameda. So Alameda is probably the, one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in Portland. So that's 
um, on the north side of Fremont and you have the most beautiful houses. So some larger homes, three, four, 5,000 square feet, really big lots. So that also attracts a lot of families. And once again, a really tight knit community. So once people move to Alameda, they don't really wanna leave. The, another benefit Alameda, so you have a ridge within Alameda that has some amazing views. So if you are interested in living in Portland, on the east side and you want a view there's not a lot of neighborhoods that have a view so alameda is one of those so many of those houses have been redone and remodeled so if you're attracted to remodel older houses alameda is a great neighborhood also there's a few different schools um, that are in that area that people love but alameda elementary is a coveted elementary school and once again that feeds to that grant high school in northeast portland that just got redone that people love as well so in alameda you can also bounce around. There's no business district within Alameda, it's simply residential, but there are a few business districts close by that you can access within a few minutes or just, you know, a little walk. So you have the business district, the Beaumont Wilshire business district on Fremont, or you can hop up north to Alberta or also just five minutes away by car to the Mississippi Williams um, district as well. So Alameda, it's a quiet little pocket, but really nearby you have some really happening areas that again have all the coolest restaurants the best coffee shops and all the trendy things that portland's really known for on the east side can be accessed easily from alameda So one of my goals as a realtor is simply to be a resource for my clients and figure out what neighborhood might be a best fit for them. So if you're thinking of relocating here to Oregon and you need help with that process, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified for future episodes.